Hey everybody, good morning. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Today I'm going to do a follow-up part 2 video to this BVH 2000 that I am working on right now. Uh, this is a 1 inch type C video format. Uh, as you can see I'm doing some test video, playing back some video, actually a cool movie called Lady Frankenstein, which is kind of a cool movie, which was on 1 inch. This is from a television station that used to run horror movies. They had it on a 1 inch tape. So this is what I'm using for my test tape to uh, repair this unit. This one inch machine uh, is a really good machine actually. It's one of the ones used in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, I just got done replacing the video head which is located right here obviously. And um, the video head that was in here was quite wore out. It looked like it had an awful lot of miles on it. I also repaired the, the, the video head brush which is located in the back of the unit. Um, this is a very, very good format. If you guys have one inch videotapes and they're type C's or whatever, I'll be able to convert those to files for you guys if you're interested in getting it done. But this is a really, really good unit. Um, but uh, it's one of the older ones. I used to use this mainly for duplication. This was a, the workhorse of the one inch machines of the time. Until they came out with a couple other models, a little newer than this one, which were generally a little higher quality and different features. But this generally was a really, really good unit. Um, as you can tell, I'm running video. Uh, very cool uh, horror movie. I just I haven't ran this tape. Uh, haven't even been able to watch this tape because I've some, been so busy with other projects. But this is like the first time I'm actually getting to watch a few minutes of this movie. Actually, a good movie, really. Uh, just got done replacing the video head on this. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen this movie. It's called Lady Frankenstein. I believe it's a Hammer movie. This is a 90-minute program. I guess this was a film transfer to a one-inch tape. Very, very cool. And... Um, so anyways, I'm using that as a test tape on this. Good audio. Uh, whoever recorded the tape, they, they had very good uh, good audio, very good video signal. Um, and on this particular unit, I love these 1-inch machines because they're very similar to the 2-inch quad machines I'm, I'm used to using. 2-inch quad, you had a lot of different adjustments you can make on the cards for locking in the video signal. On this particular move, uh, video machine, you have, uh, if you should look at the bottom of this thing. So you got all your cards. You got your color playback adjustment right here. You got your skew adjustment right here, and manual and auto. And then when you're doing recording, you have to set up the recording and modulation and various other cards for recording signals coming in and recording signals going out. This is a very, very, very complex machine. But if you're not in the video production or an engineer, you'd be a little confused trying to run one of these, especially if you want to buy one and toy around with it and. You know, maybe you have a one-inch tape. You're like, hey, I'd like to get one of these machines and try using it. Believe me, it's very complicated. You really need to be an engineer in television broadcasting to understand this type of machine. This is broadcast equipment here. This is a very technical piece of equipment. But as you can see, all the cards are very, very massive. They do various different things. You need to know how to set up the machine. you got to have a service manual for it. And you need to have a scope, and you need to be able to go through time-based correction externally. Because this doesn't have, I noticed, a time-based card uh, located on this unit, but it does have an external TBC that plugs on the outside of it in the back of the unit, which is cool because I now have a television studio TBC to plug it into to do any uh, files or anything like that. But this is a very, very cool machine. So just in case you guys are wondering about one-inch video, this is a really mind-blowing machine. Good video, good playback. Um, but... Uh, I changed out the video head today and was checking out to make sure the new video head I did get off eBay did work. So this is actually pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoy this video.